Good. Hi, Jackie. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I am great. I get to talk with you. Are you kidding? Um, you know, <laughs> I all my life I have wanted to sing, and I I just sound like a choking chicken when I when I do it. And uh, <laughs> you know, so uh, watching someone like you who has been singing for their entire lives and with such such a beautiful voice, um, it, it does my heart good. It does this old heart good. <laughs> oh, thank you. That means a lot. Well, thank you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on, on you know, this journey you've been on. It hasn't been easy. Um, mm -hmm. Talk to me about, you know, when did you discover that you had such a, a beautiful voice? Uh, I wouldn't say I discovered it. Um, it's <laughs> my parents discovered it. And I was eight years old. Um, singing in my bedroom, and mm -hmm. I just seen the movie The Phantom of the Opera, so I was obsessed with the music from it. And um, when they heard me, they were like, "That kind of sounds good, but is it because I'm her parent and I love my kid, or is she actually good?" So I ended up doing some local talent competitions, and eventually got on America's Got Talent. And from there, I was in second place, and my career kind of just skyrocketed from there. And I've been doing this since. But it isn't easy work, is it? I mean, it's it's a lot of rehearsing. It's a lot of moving about. It's, you know, packing up mm -hmm. the van, so to speak, and 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 going from city to city, which cannot yeah. be, you know, a comfortable thing. It's definitely not. But, <laughs> um, you know, I, <laughs> I've been doing it since I was 10. So mm -hmm. I was raised in it. And it's kind of not like as terrible as I guess other people would feel it is. Um, it's like second nature, but there are a lot of downsides to it. But the, the upsides, they make it so much more worth it. Yeah, I, I suppose so. But I mean, at one point, I think your health was suffering uh, mm -hmm. from, from all of this. And you have people around you, you know, uh, telling you what to wear or how to smile. And mm -hmm. you, you can lose yourself in all that. Oh, yeah. I would definitely say... For a lot of my life, I was in somewhat of an identity crisis because I didn't exactly know who I was becoming because I had to, in my eyes, remain the person I was when I was 10. That's when people fell in love with me. That's when I gained my fans. And I was so afraid that if I changed too much from who she was, that I would lose all that I'd worked for. And mm -hmm. it's just impossible to stay a 10-year-old when you're now 24. I mean, Jojo Siwa is going through it right now, too. Um, and it's it's hard for people to accept it. But but you personally, once you get through that, once you once you step through, um, it's it, it almost seems like you've you've won a fight. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, once I made this realization that this is what I have to do for my own happiness, mm -hmm. it felt like all the storm cloud cleared up my ring fell off. Sorry. It <laughs> felt like, it felt like I could see clearly for the first time. And there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Cause I was uh, a bit despaired for a while about it. I didn't know where my career was going to go, what I was meant to be doing other than I knew I was going to be a musician. I knew that, yeah. but um, this is definitely a really good feeling. <laughs> well, talk to me about the new album, uh, Sola. Sola is um, the very first time that I get to show my songwriting skills. And these are all songs that I wrote. Um, and I've been working with a great producer. He's actually one of the founding members of Smash Mouth, Greg Camp. Wow. And yeah, funny pairing, I think, but it works so well. He's very, very, very easy to work with. He's one of the few people, if not the only so far that I've met, who understands what I'm trying to say and what I'm visualizing. My intuition is the same as his. And so it's very, very fluid when we work together. Um, but Sola is just me basically sharing all that I've had to say in music form, because I find I have a hard time on camera talking about it. But yeah. It seems like uh, your career at the very beginning, you're doing musical uh, musical selections and classical music, and uh, you've you've kind of 
gotten through that too. And now you're adding in a lot more contemporary and pop pieces. Yes. Yeah. I guess that it's just that I wanted to sing in the style that I was writing. I couldn't help how it was coming out of me. It's kind of like a process that is a mind of its own. Um, and so I just decided I was going to sing some pop. I learned that I could do it through the mass Singer, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, Joni Mitchell one time told me that she hears music everywhere, you know, as a, as a songwriter, uh, you know, in the cafe having a cup of coffee or on the street hearing birds. Are you the same way? Do you hear music everywhere? Oh, yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And it makes you appreciate a lot about the world that most people forget about, especially with technology these days. And another thing that I, it's kind of frustrating because like, it's a real struggle. You'll be trying to go to bed and then the song idea pops in your head. And it's like, if you don't grab it now, you'll lose it. And that could be a hit right there. So I have to immediately grab my phone and record it or, you know, write down the lyrics and it's relentless sometimes, but it's really cool. Well, those, those are gifts that are given from someplace else. I mean, you just, you just have to take it when it comes, you know, because there'll be times where it'll be very dry and, and, uh, you know, you, you wish you oh, had absolutely. no sleep at times. Yeah. yeah, actually, I've had moments where I'm writing like so many songs at once. And then um, I hit a dry spell and I'm kind of like, oh, no, is that ever going to come back? But it always does. Well, I, I our time is so limited. I could talk to you for an hour, honestly. Um congratulations on Sola. It is it is just a great album, a beautiful album, and a nice way to reintroduce yourself to everyone as far as your musical uh, tastes are going. So, uh, man, I, I, I can't say it enough. What a voice you have. And, and uh, I listen to you quite a bit in the car. Oh, thank you. That, that makes me feel good. <laughs> there you go. You take care today and, and uh, have fun at these uh, weird interviews. <laughs> thank you. Bye, you too. Dear. Bye.